every day different news every day different news you hear different things <laughs> you wake up that you're not going to hear something strange in this country forget it well government on sunday set ablaze a truck loaded with cows along uga easy nifite road in the agua taluka government area of anambra city in a video shared online an eyewitness said the truck was being driven by northerners before it was attacked by the gunmen who set it on fire However, no casualty was recorded in the incident. The man who made the video noted, noted, he said, Good morning, everybody. Unknown gunmen just attacked Hausa men carrying cows this early morning on Sunday. The gunmen did not kill anyone, but they injured the driver. As you can see, they have set this vehicle on fire. This is a full trailer carrying cows. Unknown gunmen attacked at a Ezinifite road between Ezinifite and Uga. This is live. It is just it just happened now. This comes exactly a month after unknown gunmen shot dead over 20 cows and several goods at the Unkwo Igboku market in the Aguta local government area of Anambra. Sahara reporters had reported at the time that some residents who were thrown into the states of confusion following the incident gathered around the dead livestock, deliberating what could have happened. From videos shared, some of the traders were seen running as they assumed the gunmen came back to attack them. However, they returned when they observed their assumptions was baseless. A man said, people can just start running at any time. We are just being vigilant. This is happening live at a Iboku. <laughs> okay. Wonders they say shall never end. Like I said, every day. You wake up with a different news. Unknown gunmen, unknown gunmen. Now, in Imo State, they tell us that uh, they are still doing investigation. Meanwhile, police will come out and tell you it is hype up because that is their usual way. They will tell you it is hype up. This is very sad. I totally condemn this evil act. Any insurgency that lasts more than 24 hours, the government has a hand in it. The government or politicians are supporting them. Boko Haram, unknown government, bandits, Fulani Esme, now government and politicians are sponsoring them. But we, the poor masses, we keep on fighting each other. The same way I condemn the criminality of those destroying legitimate alcoholic businesses in the north in the name of uh, Sharia, is the same way I condemn this criminality if it wasn't government sponsored. Why are they still bringing what they know it has been banned? Beer was banned in the north and everybody obeyed. Why Fulani people always feel they are above the law everywhere? It is absolutely unacceptable. On the other news, bandits killed 48 people in Zamfara State. Indeed, Buhari is the best Nigeria ever had. Unknown gunmen, popularly known as IPOP at work, soon Igbo properties will soon be destroyed by the northern unknown gunmen. Okay. Nigeria expired since 2014. But nobody wants to talk about it. And that is why there are lots of ups and downs in this country. Too much killings, tribalism. It is high time our political elites put aside their egos and dialogue. <laughs> if you are talking about that one, forget it. Too. These guys are not they are not ready at all. They are not ready to do the needful. Forget it. They are not ready at all to that dialogue what. They want this kind of a thing to continue so that they will continue to smile to the banks. That's it. If you are calling all these uh, politicians to do the needful, <laughs> you are dreaming. Every region can survive on their own. So I don't even see why this unnecessary killing is all over the country because of disunity. We are better off separated than dying every day in one nation. It's quite sad, honestly. But I thought the consumption of those uh, full cows was banned in Igbo land starting from April. But some of them, some of Igbo cow leaders, dealers, decided to use the opportunity to make more money by going to bring those cows themselves. <laughs> we also condemned the destruction of Igbo multi-million beer business by known gunmen called Isba in the north. Please also commend, condemn this at f first. Uh, we all condemn it, but let them go and sleep. Humans are dying in Zamfara. Nobody is doing anything about it. You are here talking about animals. I beg, shift. Where are the cows? Nothing can justify this kind of destruction of private property. Even in war, it is not acceptable globally to destroy innocent private property or to kill unharmed innocent persons. It is obvious these uh, faceless gunmen 
want trouble. Nemesis will visit them soon. This is becoming madness. Is this how any right thinking Igbo will sympathize with the Biafran cause? Whether this is hip hop in these guys or government mercenaries in these guys, all parties should stop already. We can't fold our hands and allow ignorance uh, descendants worsen our woes in the already hellish space we are in already. I think uh, hip hop is not responsible for this. This is a sponsored crime by the state. This is so sad, and the cows belong to an Igbo man. If this is how Biafra will be. Will be please count me out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Mm. I think a state of emergency should be declared to avert another Boko Haram terrorist in that region because this is heartless. When will this incessant act stop in Nigeria? But when the governments of this country will show concern, when will they show concern for their citizens? They say they are doing their best, that you are not just seeing their best at all. Cow is banned in Biafra land. DSS leave our land alone. You see, they didn't even burn the cow, but an Igbo man struck. Hmm. Okay. Well, some people in this uh, in this place don't even want to learn from history. But regarded the S men, the IPOP should prepare for full and endless retribution. <laughs> okay. I don't even think. Uh, I don't even know. Why our brothers insist in taking their cows to those areas? Too bad. Hmm. Destroying people's livelihood is an act of cowardice. If all the world we ever keep off between the fights of Igbos and Aousa, we the Igbos will teach Aousa and Fulani the lesson they will never forget for the rest of their history. Well, everywhere killing killing, killing, and hunger, and yet we are not fighting war. Someone somewhere is supposed to listen to all these agitations and put a stop to all these killings. For, for where? Even the person you are thinking also has an, ag an agenda. There's an agenda. They are going somewhere because you can't be doing this and you don't expect uh, people to to reciprocate. So they've already prepared for all this uh, outcome of their own agenda that they have been dishing out. So they won't do nothing until they get to the last uh, bus stop. An Igbo man's business, we encourage you to continue. <clears throat> well, um, is Igbo man's ever your concern? Obedience is better than sacrifice. This is uncalled for very barbaric acts, if you don't know. Injustice to the innocent one. To end this hatred between the Igbos and Nausa, the British and the Yorubas, and all the Europe to keep off, let the Igbos and Nausa fight this fight and know who will win. No external support, even fiscal. Let's do it the do it once and for all. <laughs> you think that is the best thing? These people are bent to cause chaos in the southeast. The only thing Buari understands, but he does not even send uh, weapons or soldiers to all those northern areas that are that are taking people's lives on a daily basis. So that those ones say people have even lost count but when it comes to the searches Buari will begin it will his 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 um his strength will be renewed because he's the only open person if really he has a good he has good he has good intentions concerning this country if he has good intention believe you me he's the only one that can put an end to this all these problems that we are faced with they are just little problems but because of what they are driving us to get at the end of the day that is why you see that uh, they are not doing much all these are just little problems that can be solved within 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 the, the shortest period of time. Within the shortest period of, period of time. <laughs> Unknown government care. Why? Okay. See them try to defend evil. Which DSS and Fulani are you talking about? So DSS and Fulani now speak Igbo. Continue to defend the nefarious activities of ESN and IPO. Masquerading themselves as unknown government. Why some individuals from that region are in support of these criminal criminals time shall tell <laughs>